Hello friends, this video on adjective part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned so much about adjective, let us try a few exercises. So we have to pick out the adjective here in this example and we will also try to tell what kind of adjective is it. What time is it? So this is a question. This is an interrogative sentence. So which is that word which is used here? What? Now what is used is in a question. So it is definitely an interrogative adjective. Let's look at the next example. He comes here every day. So here, which is the adjective? Which one is adjective? First try to find, find out the noun in the sentence. So here you have day which is a noun. So what is uh, adding more meaning to the word day? So every is the word which is adding more meaning to the day. Which day he comes? He comes every day. So every is the adjective here and every is what kind of adjective? Is it adjective of quality? Because every doesn't tell us the quality of the day. Whether it is a good day, bad day, it is not talking about the quality of the day, right? Is it an adjective of quantity? That how much day? No, it is not either talking about that quantity. Is it an adjective of number? Is it talking about how many days? Yes, to some extent. Even though it is not talking about a specific day like 10 days, 1 day, 2 day. It is also not talking about, uh, you know, number. Not, not in exact sense. But it is talking about something which is distributive, like each, each day, every day, either day. So these are all of same kind. So this is an adjective of number or you can say this is a numeral adjective. And what type of numeral adjective? So to be more precise, you can say this is an example of distributive numeral adjective. Let's look at the next example. He was absent last week. So here in this sentence, we basically have two adjectives. One is last because last tells us, answers the question about which week or how many weeks before was he absent or since how many weeks is he absent. So he was absent last week, right? So it is talking about a number in a way. So last here is an adjective and it is which type of adjective? It is definite numeral adjective. So this is an example of adjective of number. Whereas if you talk about absent, what kind of objective is this? So absent is also object an adjective because it tells about him. It describes him, right? It is describing the pronoun he. So he uh, absent here is a descriptive adjective. My uncle lives in the next house. So which is the noun here? So uncle is a noun. House is another noun. So do you have any word which, you know, uh, kind of describes uncle? Not really. Do you have any word which describes house? Yes. Next is the word. So next tells us which house it is the next house. So next here is the descriptive adjective. One more example, some dreams are like reality. So here the noun is dreams and how many dreams or how, how would you ask this question? How many dreams are like reality? So you would say some dreams. So this word basically answers how many. So therefore, this is an example of numeral adjective or adjective of number. Now, you would never ask how much dream, right? Because dreams are countable. I saw two dreams. I saw three dreams. I saw ten dreams. So dreams are countable. So you will obviously ask how many dreams are like reality. So the answer would be some. So therefore, some here is adjective of number. Now, let us look at some examples where we will have to fill up the blank with an adjective. There arose a dash storm. So what kind of storm? So storm is a noun here. So we have to use a word which will tell us the type of storm. Now you can put any word for that matter. You can put a wild storm. You can put a violent storm. Or you can put a fear storm. So you know you basically can put any word which can describe the kind of storm. 
the injured girl wanted dash advice now we, we also need to put some a meaningful word for example here you can put the injured girl wanted some advice that is also fine if you want you can put the injured girl wanted medical advice now since she is injured she would definitely need some medical advice right so it could be medical advice it could be some advice she was listened to in dash silence so again you need a word which will uh, describe the silence now it could be extreme silence she was listened to in extreme silence it could be she was listened to in acute silence right so you know you are free to put any word you just need to ensure that that word describes the noun what kind of silence was it it was extreme silence or it was acute silence so in this fashion you can answer questions which are associated with adjectives so i hope that you found this lesson on the basics of adjectives helpful so we will uh, try to practice more and more questions try to use uh, adjectives when you speak english so that you know you can improve both your written as well as spoken english with this lesson on adjective so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you